Hi fans of high quality entertainment. It's time once again for me to review and rank a David Bowie album. And I just wanted to say one thing. I was kind of turned off of doing these review and rankings because uh, you know, you want to promote your videos. And so, you know, I went on Facebook, I checked out, I actually was already a, a, a member of this one fan club, but I didn't post, you know, I had nothing to post, but I would read and like some things. And then I, I went to, I posted the video for my last uh, review and ranking for David Bowie. And I'm not whining. And people out there have to understand that I've been on YouTube for 14 years. I've taken a lot of abuse. Thousands and thousands of kind words, but every day I would get, you know, one or two nasty comments. And so I've got a pretty thick skin, seriously. And I don't run off to my community and complain every time. Uh, but I posted the video and got some nice feedback, people agreeing, and some saying that they don't, it's not one of their favorite albums. I think it was, uh, it was for pinups, which I love. And that's the one thing. I have really nothing negative to say, to say about Dave, David Bowie. I, I enjoy all of his albums, some more than others, but I'm a big fan of David Bowie. So I posted the video, and like I said, I got some nice comments, and then you know, 20 comments later, I, I started to get a couple of negative comments and this one guy wrote, why do we care what this guy thinks? It's, I just don't understand people. Why, you know, it's a fan page. You're supposed to talk about the artist and post pictures. And I might not like everything somebody posts, and then I'll just ignore it or I'm not gonna write, why do we care what you think? It just kind of, it kind of shocked me, I guess, you know, that a fan page. And, you know, when I post, I, I'm a, a member of a couple of Sparks fan clubs on Facebook. I never see any negativity on there. But I, I've had negativity for Yes, being on a Yes fan page and a David Bowie fan page. So I don't think I'll, if one of you wants to join, it's David Bowie with a star. If one of you wants to post this video on there and see what kind of reaction you get. <laughs> but that's all I wanted to say. I was just kind of put off because why do you care what I think? I care about what other people think. I might not dis I might not agree with what they say and as long as they're not rude or anything I'm going to respect their opinion. You know, it's everybody loves m music differently. So anyway, Sorry for rambling. We're here to talk about David Bowie's Diamond Dogs, and it sucks. But why would you care what I think? I'm just joking. No, uh, I absolutely love it. It's one of the David Bowie albums that, for me, it's taken... Even recently, I, I'm enjoying it more and more, because I've listened to it a few times to do this review. And I've always thought it was really good. But I love it more now than ever. And I played it last night again. Uh, his vocals on uh, Sweet Thing, uh, his vocals on the whole album are just outstanding. And Rebel Rebel, it's one song, you know, where I work, they, they play the radio every day. And uh, I've heard Rebel, Rebel Rebel more times than I wanted to. But, you know, listening to, listening to it on headphones and kind of forgetting how many times I've heard it, it is such a friggin' great song. It really is. And uh, the guitar work by David Bowie throughout the whole album I love, especially uh, the last minute of Sweet Thing, The Reprise. That, that one minute at the end, I wish that would go on for like a few minutes because I, I just love it. It's dirty and love the guitar work and everything. So, uh, Rock and Roll With Me, We Are the Dead, 1984, Chant of the 
ever circling skeletal family. It's kind of weird, but I love the whole album. Every song, every song I really love. As far as ranking it goes, this is getting difficult because, you know, the, the later uh, David Bowie albums, some of them I need to listen to them more. But I'm sure, you know, some I am going to love more than others. I might even just like two or three or four of them. But so far I love all of these albums, except for maybe the debut from 1967. It's just good. So in the rankings, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight albums. In eighth spot with a C is his real debut from 1967, David Bowie. Number seven, which I love. The man who sold the world with a B. Number six is 1969 album David Bowie, also known as Space Oddity. I gave that an A. I give this an A minus. Surprisingly, you know, and, and that's the thing too, the video that I posted on the page, it is a really good review of it. I was totally positive about it, nothing negative. But you don't want to hear my opinion. <laughs> uh, Pinups is number five with an A minus for me. You might like it more or you might like it less. So, these are almost interchangeable because I love them both the same. But at the moment, Diamond Dogs is in fourth spot and Pinups is in third spot and I gave them both an A. And like I said, the rankings might change as, as I go along and I'll listen to some of these albums again and that's the thing about music too is you know sometimes your your very favorite favorite album by an artist will change in second spot with a a is hunky dory and number one and i have no idea i honestly don't have any idea if this will be replaced by one other album, because I want to listen, even the ones I'm really familiar with. But I, I don't know if this will stay at number one throughout the whole series. Is uh, Ziggy Stardust, the, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, with a A+. Plus. Not that you care. <laughs> so uh, that's it. I would love your thoughts. Not on this. I would love your thoughts on Diamond Dogs in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Not that I care.